guys it's Cameron here back with another video if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload so for today's video I'm going to be giving you guys the full rundown on my experience with the Chloe Tang 28 day summer shred challenge so a lot of you guys may have already seen my review on Chloe Tang's 25 day hourglass challenge that I uploaded about a month or so ago that video did really great so I want to thank you all for all the support on that video all the love the comments you know all that kind of stuff but I decided to do another Chloe Ting challenge because I love that one so much and I also love the two week shred so much which I did back in January if you guys have not seen my last Chloe Ting challenge video and you don't know who Chloe Ting is she does workout videos on YouTube and she actually has workout challenges all laid out on her website so if you go to her website you can see literally so many different challenges and she links her YouTube videos in the challenges and there's just different workouts for each different day some of them are repeated well a lot of them are repeated a lot of people ask me if they should just do the challenges straight off her youtube channel or if they should go to her website and definitely go to her website because that's where she actually has it all laid out the youtube channel is just where the videos are definitely if you want to see the whole program and schedule go to her website do that and then that'll bring you to her channel where she has so many different amazing workouts on there for you guys to check out honestly at this point i'm literally just like a chloe ting fangirl the summer shred challenge had came out in the beginning of may i believe i started it a few days after it came out but i was happy that i waited a few days to start it because she posted a lot of new videos and some of the videos were uploaded on specific days and the day that i started just so happened that all the days with the new videos landed on the day that I had that workout, if that makes sense. I was basically on perfect track with the workout, which was amazing. I actually started doing it about five days after I finished the hourglass challenge. I gave myself a little bit of a rest and then I was like, okay, we're gonna go on with another challenge. It was 28 days and honestly, the time went by pretty fast. It feels like I just started it like a week ago and I'm like shocked that it's already over. Honestly, I think for a while I'm going to take a break from the challenges and maybe just do some of her workouts here and there and do some cardio because I'm getting really busy and doing a challenge every day has been really hard for me to keep up with because I'm starting to get busier with my job and stuff so I don't know where I'm gonna go from there but all I know is that I have to give you guys the full rundown on this challenge my experience with it give you guys my result so without further ado I'm gonna get right on into the video so about 28 days ago I decided to start the Chloe Ting summer shred challenge now when I started this I was a little bit overwhelmed because I knew that it was gonna be some really intense full body workouts that were gonna have me sweating and dying the whole time but I was ready for the challenge so I decided to do it hi guys okay so today is day one of me doing Chloe Ting's four week summer shred I'm kind of nervous for this because already one of the first workouts has a 500 rep workout so it means like you don't get breaks I guess I don't know how it's gonna work right now the workout's 22 minutes if I do the optional workouts it's gonna be like 40 minutes so this is gonna be a rough 28 days let's get into the challenge okay so my first day of the challenge was on may 11th and that was a monday so the first day of the challenge was only two workouts i really liked that chloe ting actually made a warm-up video for this challenge which was awesome she now has a six minute warm-up so whenever you do one of her workouts if you don't go on a run or a walk before and you need to warm your body up doing that six minute warm-up is amazing so i did that on the first day and then i went into her two workouts for the first day i really really enjoyed her workouts and something I liked about it was that I felt like the workouts were fun. Something about Chloe Ting's workouts, if you don't know, her workouts are very different. She does a lot of workouts that I had never, ever done in my life before, like before doing her challenge. It just makes it so fun to do because it's like a challenge kind of. Well, it is a challenge. So there was an optional workout on day one, but I didn't have time to complete it. So I decided to do day one's optional workout on day two since it was a shorter day. So it was 35 minutes for me because the optional one was only 10 minutes. So day two was two workouts and was 25 minutes minutes 25 minutes is literally nothing I think that might have been the shortest day of the challenge because after day two every day was at least 30 minutes or more most of the time it was 40 minutes or more that's one thing with this is with the two-week shred and the hourglass challenge there were days where you'd only have like 20 minute workouts and it would be such a relief but with the summer shred it was not really like that you just have your rest days and then you have really long workout days the next workout is one from the hourglass challenge 
Yay. The second day I was actually introduced to the 500 rep ab workout and I absolutely love that one. It's the shredded ab 500 reps. And I was nervous when she said 500 reps like that, that it was gonna be like straight through, no breaks. I don't know why, it's just like, normally she doesn't put the number of reps in the title. So I was like, is this something different? But it was just like one of her regular ab workouts. It just had 500 reps total. So I really loved how she started to include really intense arm workouts because I felt like many of her other challenges lacked working on upper body unless it was one directly towards like an arm challenge. But the ones that I did definitely did not work arms much at all, but I feel like this one actually directly targeted the arms and I absolutely love that so much. Also, just so you guys know, I was making sure to stretch after every single workout. I would do her 10 minute cool down stretch, but she also actually later in the challenge added a 15 minute cool down stretch, which was pretty cool as well. But I kind of liked the 10 minute one better. I feel like it got straight to the point, but this is a very intense workout on your entire body. So you want to make sure that you're stretching. Day four was a rest day, but I made sure to go on a run. I recommend on your rest days to stay as active as possible. And by active, I don't mean you have to do one of her workouts or go on a run like I did. But by active, I just mean don't spend the entire day laying in your bed, watching TV, doing nothing because it makes you more lazy and doesn't make you as motivated to start back up the next day. So I recommend at least like doing things around the house, going on a walk, going out with your friends, like leaving your bed. You don't want to take your rest day and be completely lazy. Day five, I decided to go on a run as a warm up. In the beginning, I was doing super well with the runs, but towards the middle, I kind of started falling off a little bit with the running, but I was still doing her warm ups. But hi guys. Okay, so today is day. Oh, crazy. Oh my god. Today is day five of the summer shred challenge and i just went on a run so i'm literally sweating but i'm about to do the workouts today is 32 minutes and there's one optional workout and i always do the optional workouts so it'll be a 42 minute workout day five i did the run and then i had an amazing workout i felt super good and i was tired from the run and struggled a lot but i still felt the burn and like it made me push harder because i was already like okay i already got a good run in so now i need to get like a great workout in i was sweating so much i was exhausted but it was such a good workout. I realized that day five that bicycle crunches are probably my least favorite workout, which I haven't really heard a lot of people say. But for me, they're hard because I feel like she always throws bicycle crunches in after like the most intense workouts. By the time bicycle crunches come around in any of the challenges, you're literally already sweating, dying, and it makes it so hard to breathe. So I absolutely hate them when she says it. I'm like, oh my god, please no. But I still did it. It was like a, amazing if I was able to do like the full 30 seconds by school crunches because I hated them that much. I also did the extra workout on day five. I pretty much did the extra workout on every single day because I don't know if I talked about it in the last video, but I feel like so obligated to the optional workouts. Like, yeah, she makes them optional, but it's like a challenge and it makes you feel like, no, like I have to do it. Like Chloe would be disappointed. What's up guys? Today is day six of the challenge. It's Saturday, so I'm honestly just like in that weekend mode. I slept in this morning, so I really don't feel like working out today, but I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go on a run later today, maybe, but for now, I'm just going to do the workout. I'll probably do the warm up routine. There's three workouts today. One of them is the full body workout from the challenge, one of them is the shredded abs, and the third one is the do this every day to lose weight or to get abs or something from her two week shred challenge. Um, and if you know, that's a really hard workout and super tiring. So today is gonna be a tiring day full of a lot of sweat. Tomorrow's rest day, so that's what's kinda pushing me through today's workout. So let's get started. So on day six, I didn't go on a run, but I did the warm-up video. The workout was super rough and I didn't have the best workout, but I still pushed through, made it through the end. I definitely took a lot of breaks during this day and a lot of the days I did take breaks because there's a lot of high intensity. So sometimes I would like have to stop and I literally couldn't breathe. But the one thing that I feel like I did well at overall is that I didn't take breaks in between each video. I like would literally just use the one minute before like her talking as my break because I felt like if I took too long of a break in between videos that I would like lose motivation and like not be able to do it as well and like want to even do the next video so that's something like I recommend maybe trying to do but then again I would say take some breaks throughout the videos like maybe it wasn't the best for me but it helped me stay motivated so I don't know. Day 7 was a rest day and I ran a mile and walked a mile. What's up guys today is day 10 of the challenge I have three workouts today it's 35 minutes long it's about a start also guys we have another new workout today it's a lower abs one on day 10 i went on a run and i worked out super quick it was definitely a good workout but it could have been better i felt super tired this day so i honestly just had to push through as best as i can and i felt super tired at the end but once again glad i just did the workout day 11 was a rest day and i went on a run what's up guys today is day 
four, no, 13 of Chloe Ting challenge. Okay, so today's workout is 40 minutes long. It's three workouts, two 15 minute ones and one 10 minute one. <sighs> one of the workouts for today's video is from the hourglass challenge which means i'm probably gonna have to use my resistance bands which i'm not really excited about but we're just gonna get into the workout because i don't know my body's so sore like oh my god day 13 i did the warm-up i had a pretty good workout this day i was sweating a lot although the first two workouts were really good the third one was kind of just like all right but overall it was a good workout one of the workouts it was optional to use resistance bands it was a workout from the 25 day hourglass challenge and literally i was just getting so frustrated with the resistance bands that i ended up taking it off i used it for like two minutes i still haven't gotten new ones because i didn't think i really needed them for this challenge and I just never bought them and turns out that there was more days than I thought there would be that had 25 day hourglass challenge workouts in it that I needed resistance bands but I didn't need them but I wanted them and it just was not working out in my favor. Day 14 I actually took a rest day. I didn't run or anything. I completely rested and I think I needed that. I wasn't super lazy. I was still being productive but I didn't go on a run or anything. What's up guys? Today is day 15 of the challenge. I'm feeling really tired today, but I'm going to push through and hopefully it's a good workout. Yesterday was a rest day, so I had to force myself to push through today's workout. There's a new workout today. It's a 20 minute full body high intensity workout. So I have a feeling that one's going to be rough, but there's two other workouts. Each of them are 10 minute ab workouts. So the total workout is 40 minutes long. Hopefully. It won't be too bad. Day 15, I was honestly exhausted, but I pushed through and I did the workout still and I was super happy I did it. I was introduced to her 20 minute full body intense full body workout, whatever. And that was rough. Like I definitely had to take breaks. That was the hardest workout of the challenge. Honestly, like it literally killed me. I like that we had longer breaks in between each set, but the workouts were so tiring. Although I woke up really not wanting to work out, I'm glad that I did it and I pushed through and I had a good workout. So day 18, I actually did not have the best day. I ended up injuring myself this day. I did the first workout and then during the second workout, which was the 20 minute intense full body workout, I went up to the second set, which was the first 10 minutes. And at the last workout of the second set, I got a super bad Charlie horse and I've been getting really bad Charlie horses since I was little and my leg locks up completely which leads to me pulling my hamstring it's happened to me multiple times and I got this super bad one it was during one of her workouts it's where you do like a roll up it's like a reverse crunch and you stand up from it and I guess the way I moved my leg it just locked up and I literally flew back onto the floor like I hurt so bad I'm gonna be honest I was literally crying like, and I honestly was also crying because I felt so guilty not finishing the workout because I feel like with these challenges they definitely take a toll on me mentally because I'm so hard on myself if I skip a day or if I skip an optional workout if I injure myself like I was just really hard on myself that day but I realized that it's much more important to take care of your body because I'd rather stop the workout that day to rest my leg than push through the rest of the workout and have the injury be long term plus I couldn't even push through the workout I ended up getting up trying to do the next workout the next set and I literally started crying it hurt so bad but that little Charlie horse actually really affected my whole entire leg my knee my hamstring everything my leg was really messed up for a few days so I ended up taking two days off after after that which I did not want to do but I still made sure both days the day that I injured myself and then the day after I injured myself I made sure to stretch and roll out with a foam roller because I knew that that was really important to make sure that I wasn't gonna further injure myself or to make sure that the injury was healed and I also did the same thing the day after so Thursday it was a Thursday I like I said did one and a half work like a half of the workout. Friday, took a break, stretched that day. Saturday, I still took a break and stretched that day. It did throw my, me off on the schedule and I was going to stop skipping the rest day. I mean, I was gonna start skipping the rest days after that to get back on track with the schedule, but honestly, I realized that I was just doing too much. Like, I literally injured myself. It was okay to take those two days off and I just picked back up on schedule the next day. What's up, guys? Today is day 19 of the challenge last i spoke to you guys was when i injured myself that was on a wednesday when i did day 18 however i decided oh no it was on a thursday however i decided to take off working out um friday and saturday just because um i was not fully healed it really hurt a lot and 
I honestly was struggling to like walk right so I figured obviously like working out and pushing myself too far I would hurt myself even more that Sunday I was in Brandon's apartment and it was day 19 of the workout since I skipped those few days um, I was very careful because my leg I made sure to stretch before and after after my injury I started not only to stretch after but I would always also stretch before the workout and I honestly had a really good workout I also was still super careful and conscious of what I was doing so I wasn't over you know working the muscles that were hurt Day 20, I was still at Brandon's apartment and I made him do the workouts with me. It was pretty funny because he actually did struggle a lot with the workouts and was dead and it made me feel like, okay, like, you know what? Now you see, like, it, it's not as easy as people think. <laughs> he did pretty much the whole thing, but he didn't do the optional workout with me. I honestly had an amazing workout that day and I feel like him doing it with me also made it better because it was just like fun and it went by fast and I stretched before and after again. Brandon helped me stretch. What's up guys? Today is day 23 of the challenge. I'm almost done. I have five more days after today yeah five <laughs> and i'm so happy today's workout is 40 minutes long there's one optional workout so i think i'm gonna do it it's just 10 minutes extra day 23 was another great workout i skipped the optional workout because i had to rush to get ready for work but i still stretched before and after i felt like it was more important to make sure that i stretched after rather than doing the optional workout um, because i only had a short period of time i didn't have the time to do both but i definitely saved the optional workout for the next day because i felt too guilty the next day was supposed to be day 24 of the challenge but I decided to swap day 24 and 25 because day 25 was a rest day and that Friday I actually had work and I was really tired after I worked the entire day so I decided to make that my rest day and then I made Saturday day 24 so I just swapped the two the next day I actually was supposed to be day 26 and I had work again and was really tired and I skipped it I was so mad at myself but I literally was exhausted okay anyways so the next day, Monday, the 8th of June, was when I did day 26. Okay, so today is day 27 of the Chloe Ting. 28 day summer shred whatever um and i'm just so happy it's almost over so today is the second to last day today's a 30 minute workout i just actually went on a run and i'm really already tired my legs hurt but i have to do this workout so we're gonna push through um we have our one workout is 20 minutes it's an intense full body workout and then i have a 10 minute ab workout to do and honestly i'm ready for it so on the 9th it was day 27 and day 27 was overall a pretty good workout i did go on a run this day as well and i just had a really good workout overall and then day 28 was on june 10th which was yesterday when i'm filming this it is june 11th when i did my measurements it was june 11th however i did take the pictures yesterday on june 10th and that's when i finished the challenge okay guys today is day 28 of the challenge which means it is the last day if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with me. But just a quick note, I was supposed to do this workout this morning at like 7 a.m. before I went to the beach, but I slept in. So instead, I'm doing this workout after getting back from the beach. I have some sunburn that hurts my legs, my shoulders. And I literally told myself I had to do it because it was the final day of the challenge. I was not skipping. I want to get it done and over with. <sighs> Hopefully this last final day will be a good one but I am a little bit tired so I don't know we'll see what happens but today's workout is 43 minutes long it is three videos the workouts were I don't even think any one of them was a workout from this challenge they were ones from like the two-week shred and like other random ones but they're really good workouts and I was sweating so like so much literally and like I was so tired because of the beach and I don't know I got a good stretch in though and I'm so glad that I'm finally done and I can finally tell you guys all about it because a lot of people have been asking me about it because people have known that I've been doing it and I'm excited to finally share my results with you guys and share my thoughts and opinions on the challenge overall so basically my overall opinion on this challenge is that I really did like it however I didn't see the best results in the challenge simply because of the fact that I did not eat well at all and I can't blame anyone else but myself because I know my body and I definitely would have seen results in this challenge like better results if I ate better obviously anybody is like that you know you it's not only just working out it's all about what you're eating and putting in your body as well but with the 25 day hourglass challenge I hadn't seen the most results in the beginning and then towards the end I started seeing a lot of results because I fixed my eating habits so it's clear that my eating habits definitely messed this challenge up for me I honestly ate bad for the past month like there was 
a few periods like days where I would eat so good and then I would mess it up like on the weekends and I just struggled so hard to get back on track because things were opening up again I was seeing friends again like outside and stuff I was working so it was just like my whole schedule was different and it was hard to still be eating well and like preparing meals and stuff because it's just like going from being in quarantine for like months to just like slowly going back into regular life it like messed up my motivation and my eating like eating habits and motivation go hand in hand because you have to be motivated to actually like make the good foods buy the good foods like stay on top of your diet and i just wasn't the way this challenge was it was intense and honestly i know my body and the best workouts for my body are intense like high intensity workouts that you don't get a lot of breaks that you keep going and you're sweating the hourglass challenge i like those workouts but they don't always work as well for what I'm trying to target because they're more focused on like growing your butt and like I like to shred and this was a shred challenge a summer shred challenge like I definitely would have seen better results if I ate better and like I hate that I have to make this video and tell you guys like my results weren't that great simply because of the fact that I didn't eat better like some of the measurements went down a little bit I didn't I think I lost like a pound because my weight was fluctuating throughout the whole challenge I weighed myself like once a week it was like fluctuating a lot like overall I like see some changes like in my stomach and my waist I really feel like it's looked the same but I definitely see that my legs slimmed down a lot and I feel like my legs have gotten much more muscular which is good um, and then also I feel like my arms have definitely slimmed down and then my legs but my stomach and everything it just kind of looks the same I, like just being honest I mean you can see in the side by side pictures there's like maybe a little bit of a difference like maybe it's just a little skinnier maybe I'm a little thinner this way but it's nothing super drastic compared to like my before and after pictures for the 25 day hourglass challenge but definitely make sure that if you're doing any of her challenges that you're watching when you eat because I messed it up for myself but I also recommend that you should definitely do like other forms of cardio with the workouts because I think that also helped me a lot and made me feel like I worked so much harder and I recommend that with any of the challenges that you don't only just have to do her workouts unless that works for you but I definitely did see some comments on my previous Chloe Ting challenge video that said that they weren't feeling sore or they didn't feel as tired and if there was a reason why and I definitely think that for the workouts that resistance bands are optional if you add the resistance band it makes it harder and I definitely think adding a form of cardio before or after your workout is important and I also definitely think doing the optional workouts is important and a huge thing that is also important is making sure that you are engaging your core at all times I feel like even if it's not an ab workout and it's like something as simple as like jumping squats like you literally can still engage your core because it helps you with everything not even just getting abs but just balance like even in like booty workouts make sure you're engaging your butt like make sure you're squeezing every time you come up from a squat you come up from a lunge like those are just some recommendations of mine to maybe make your experience a little bit better but in no way am i like shaming the challenge i absolutely loved this challenge like i talked so highly of it because i loved the workouts and they were fun they were intense and i definitely think this is a challenge that could give you amazing results if you actually stay on top of it eat good and just like really push through those workouts and do the best that you can possibly do so i'm going to show you guys my results so for my before and after results i'm going to just insert them right here we have before and after and you can kind of see the results a little bit you can definitely see me slimming down a little bit in my stomach but overall there's no drastic results so i'll read you guys the measurements so you guys can see the results in that so the before measurement for my bicep was 13 inches and the after measurement for my bicep was 12.5 inches the before measurement for my waist was 28.5 inches and the after measurement for my waist was 28 inches, which is good because I honestly don't don't really see it as much, but like I, I guess it did go down a little bit, which is good. Um, my hips before were 35 inches and now they are 34 inches, which honestly like I was really impressed and by and I was kind of shocked. I didn't notice like any of these little like differences until I measured myself. So the before measurement for my thigh was 23.5 inches and the after measurement was 22.5 inches, which like I said, I definitely see the most like progress in my legs like and my butt originally was 40 inches and it's still 40 inches so nothing changed there overall the measurements weren't like amazing but they also weren't bad and honestly it's fine like i'm not going to beat myself up over it because what's in the past in the past like now i just know what i have to do for next time and i'm definitely going to start focusing more on what i've been eating oh yeah also another thing is i only lost one pound overall from the challenge i wish i lost more but i didn't so 
I'll do better next time but overall those are my results for the challenge I'm sorry that I couldn't come on here and give you guys amazing results but I do want to say that the summer stride challenge is an amazing workout I still highly recommend it but I definitely recommend to take all of my mistakes into consideration and don't do the same thing I did because then you won't see results. Again, shout out to you, Chloe Ting, for being amazing, giving us all these free workout programs. I literally, oh, I love her. She's amazing. But that is it for this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.